Hello everyone. In the previous video, I did cover math measurement, which is basically the difference units in between the volume-based and the solid-based units. In this video, I'm going to go over six examples to further understand the conversion between these different units. So let's start with the first example. So on the first example, we have a patient who comes to the pharmacy with a prescription that says give three teaspoons BID and the question is asking how many milliliters is given each day. So let's think about this. So the prescription says give three teaspoons BID. So BID means twice daily. And three teaspoons, so we, we know that one teaspoon is equal to five milliliters, okay? So if we have three teaspoons, so this is multiplying by five milliliter over one teaspoon. So taking teaspoons out, so we have three by five is 15 milliliters. So this is for each dose that is given to the patient, but we have a twice daily BID. So this means that we're given 15 milliliter two times daily. So this means each day the patient is receiving basically 15 milliliter times two, and this comes in from the BID. Therefore, the number of milliliter each day patient is receiving is 30 milliliters. So now moving to example number two. So here on example number two, we have another patient who comes to the pharmacy with a prescription. So RX is a prescription that says take two milliliter per kilogram. So we're dosing this patient based on that patient's weight. And we're given for every one kilogram, two milliliters. And patient weight is 30 kilograms. So we have the patient's weight is over here, which is 30 kilogram. And we're given this once daily. So let's see, the question is asking how many milliliter is the patient taking per dose? So since the prescription says once daily, so we know that patient is given one dose every day. So we know that. So what we need to do is basically calculate how many milliliters based on patient's weight. So we know there is two milliliters per kilogram and we know the patient is basically 30 kilogram so what do we need to do in this case basically multiplying 2 milliliter over kilogram multiplying by 30 kilogram which is patient's weight so taking kilogram with kilogram away we end up having 2 times 30 which is 60 milliliter so this is basically the dose that the patient is receiving every day. So basically this is the answer for this question. So question number three. Here the question is asking, you are helping a patient with a prescription that says to take five milliliter daily. So the patient is taking five milliliter daily and the total volume is one fluid ounce. And patient is asking, how long will this medication last? So let's understand this question. The patient is taking five milliliter every day and he has been prescribed one fluid ounce and he's asking how long this prescription will last him. So let's think about this question. So we have one fluid ounce And we know that every fluid ounce, the approximate milliliter for it is basically equal to 30 milliliters. 
And meanwhile, the patient is receiving five milliliter every day. So we want to know, the question is asking the number of days this prescription will last. So we're gonna multiply this 30 milliliter, which is equal to one fluid ounce times, we know there is in every day, so one day, patient is receiving five milliliters. So we cancel milliliters with milliliters over here, and we have 30 divided by five, and this equals to six, and we have days here left, so six days is the answer. So this prescription, basically, it's going to last six days for this specific patient. So now moving to question number four. So this question is asking, patient weight is 132 pound. So now we have the patient's weight in pound. And is given a prescription Rx that says take one milliliter per kilogram. So the prescription is saying to take one milliliter per one kilogram. So this is also one of the medications that is dosed per weight. And it's actually given TID. So what TID mean in pharmacy mean three times daily. And it's given for five days. So we have different component in this question. So we have the weight, patient's weight, which is in pound. The prescription medication is dosed by weight and which is in kilogram. And it's given three times three times daily for five days. And the question is asking, how many milliliter should the patient be given in total? So we wanna know how many milliliter should the patient be receiving for the total five days? So let's work this out. First of all, we wanna convert the pound to kilogram. So we know that patient's weight is 132 pound. And we know there is 2.2 pound for every one kilogram. So we're gonna multiply this by one kilogram over 2.2 pound. And this way we can cancel the pounds. So what we need to do right now is 132 divided 2.2. So to do this easier, I have my brought my calculator down here. So 132 divided by 2.2, it's basically 60 kilogram. So this is 60 kilogram. So we know the patient's weight is 60 kilogram after conversion from pound to kilogram. Now, what's the question is asking? So the prescription is given one milliliter per kilogram. So we're going to multiply patient's weight by the um, prescription um, dose based to figure out the number of milliliter per dose. So multiplying 60 kilogram by one milliliter over kilogram. So canceling kilogram with kilogram, that's equal to 60 by one, basically 60 milliliters. So this is per dose. And this is given TID. So we know it's given three times daily. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna multiply this 60. So let me switch color to make it easier. So what we're gonna do right now is basically multiplying 60 milliliter, and this is basically per dose times three times daily. So this is times three to figure out how many milliliter is the patient receiving daily. So this is times a three. So it's gonna be 60 times a three, that's 180 milliliter daily. Okay, so let me just make this one. This is per dose. Okay, and this is daily. So now the question is asking how many milliliters in total, the patient is receiving for five days. So basically what we need to do is basically multiplying 180 times five. So from here, if we multiply 180 milliliters times five, 
So this is 180 milliliter over day because it's 180 per day and we have five days. So the answer would be Nine hundred. So canceling days out, nine hundred milliliter. So this is the answer to this question. So what we did basically was converting from pound to kilogram, and then converting or basically multiplying the kilogram uh, patient's weight times the prescription weight-based dose. So now moving from problem four to problem number five. So in this question, pharmacy tech is making same medication. He's making the same medication for three patients. So we have three patients over here and he's making the same medication for all the three of them. And the prescription RX says make two cups per patient. So we're making for every patient, we're making two cups. So what is the total milliliter for all patients? So we know we're making two cups per patient. And we know we have three patients in total. So we need first of all to figure out how many milliliter in each cup there is. So we know from the previous video that every cup, so let's see here. So we know that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. And we know each fluid ounces is basically, this one is each fluid ounces, so fluid ounces, is equal to 30 milliliter. So basically multiplying eight by 30, we get, this is the approximate, it's going to be 240 milliliter. So we know every cup, every one cup has 240 milliliter in it. So now the question is, says two cups per patient. So every patient is receiving two cups. So basically, if we know that each cup has 240, so two cups per patient, so let's see here. So we know that 240 milliliter is over one cup. So multiplying this by, for every one patient, we have two cups. So canceling cups out, we have 240 times two. So it's going to be 480 milliliter per patient. And we know we have three patients. So what we need to do is basically multiplying three times 480 milliliter. So in this case, we have 480 times three, that's 1,440 milliliter. So this is basically the total milliliters for all patient. And this is how much, how many milliliter the pharmacy technician has to make for all these three patients. So now moving to the last problem. So in this problem, a patient, uh, given a patient with 66 inches, so he's 66 inch tall, you are asked to calculate how many meters is that. So we want to know what is 66 inches in meters. So just straightforward conversion. So we know that one inch is basically, or let's make it this way, is basically equal to 2.54 centimeters. And this is from the previous video as well. So what we have over here, we have 66 inches and we need to multiply this by 2.54 centimeters 
over one inch. So to cancel inches out, we end up with 66 times 2.54. So 66 times 2.54, that's equal to 167.6 centimeters. Or we can say approximate 168 centimeters. So now the question is asking what is 66 inches in meters? So we know it's in centimeters right now and we know that for every one meters we have 100 centimeters. So now let's convert 168 centimeters to one meters. So we have one meters over 100 centimeters and we're going to multiply this by 168 centimeters in order to end up with meters so centimeters cancel out and we have 168 times dividing by 100 and that's 1.68 meters and that's the answer to this question so this is the end of this video. If you have any question, please leave them in the box below. And thank you for watching.